Hello, welcome to Tel Aviv and another episode. Here to explore, hopefully get some waves. I mean, right now it is completely flat. As you'd expect being in the Mediterranean, it's not a super consistent place. So I've met so many Israeli surfers like on my travels. I was just always really intrigued about coming here. Big, beautiful, like modern buildings, super sunny. It's like gym on the beach, loads of nice restaurants. Um, proper yeah like mediterranean vibes israel is one of those countries where that's super unique you kind of have like a blend of religions and culture that you don't get anywhere else like just then on the train so i got the train from tel aviv airport to here at the beach so we'd see like a rabbi and then next to him be like a army guy with an ak um on wednesday there's going to be a little spike in the swell and by spike i mean it's going to be like <laughs> two two feet at seven seconds i think we just have a quick look at the chart so this is the day Wednesday that I'm hoping for absolutely cooking two feet seven seconds in the evening no wind absolutely firing I don't know if that that means waves here or what but fingers crossed that is going to provide a few little waves so I don't think it's going to be that good but I'll be so stoked if I can stand up on a wave um it's a pretty cool place to serve i know i know that does, there is good waves here sometimes in the meantime just gonna hang out do a little bit of work stay in a really cool hostel it's called 180 boutique hostel it's literally just down there um it's pretty sick rooms are super clean sick little cafe and restaurant they got surfing on the tv um super quick wi-fi and i booked four nights which cost about 80 british pounds so I guess 90 to 100 US dollars. Now I'm just gonna cruise, probably have a lay down on the beach. I woke up at like 2 a.m. this morning to fly from Bulgaria. Gonna wait for that swell to kick in, so I'll see you on the morning surf jack. It is the day of the swell, the big day. Absolutely cooking in Tel Aviv. Beautiful morning. Whoa, airplane. Sick. Yeah, pretty wicked sunrise. Um, waves are pretty tiny, <laughs> but I actually managed to have a quick surf yesterday and it, the swell was actually smaller yesterday. Um, I just about got going on a shortboard, so... But, oh, how's this set? Wow. No way, that's surfable. Oh. Sick. Never been so excited to see a one foot wave peeling. Um, so this bit was actually like not surfable yesterday, which is a really good sign. So I'm actually gonna walk a little bit down the beach um, to a beach which I think is a bit more exposed. That's where I surfed yesterday. Um, so I'm gonna walk down there. Based on what I can see here, it's gonna be, it's gonna be surfable. So we'll go and see. So I'll see you down the beach. All right, so I'm on. It's not very big, but it's bigger than yesterday. I surfed yesterday, so look at that big. Wow. Ground swell, Mediterranean style. That left. No way. Such a beautiful morning too. Oh, it's even bigger one. No way. What's that thing? Sick. We're fully on. <clears throat> so stoked. This waves. I love the, the novelty feeling. So this is what two feet at seven seconds looks like in Israel. But it, obviously it's not great. But um, yeah, just the novelty of it kind of outweighs it. I know they do get like proper waves here and stuff, um, but I already had the trip booked. So uh, there's always gonna be um, quite like hit and miss regarding the swell. But look at this, it's proper waves. Um, yeah, I've definitely surfed wor worse waves. Surf lesson going on over there quite a few people in down the beach. Ooh, how's that thing? 
Yeah, like if you had a log or a mal or something, it'd be sick. Obviously, I've, I've only got the shoreboard, but um, but yeah, gonna go out there, show you guys what it's like, and hopefully um, get a couple of waves. Oh, there's a bit near this rock wall here that if there was swell, it'd be a full, like, punchy, like, sucky right. Yeah, I've definitely got to come back here when there's more swell. There's kind of all these, like, rock walls and jetties that it seems like it would make, like, the funnest wedges. If any of you are from Israel and you're watching this, yeah, I'd love to get some more insight into what it actually gets gets like here, so please let me know in, in the comments. Um, but for now, I'm going to suit up, going to get ready, and wow, look at this set. I'm going to get out there, and it's going to be fun. So I'll see you in the water. Obviously that was like super small and there's not a lot of energy going on out there. Um, I mean, what can you expect really from two feet at seven seconds in the Mediterranean? Uh, it was never looking that promising and I was super optimistic about being able to surf, but managed to, which is the main thing and ticked off the box of surfing in Israel. I did just about get going on one or two waves probably should have bought a foamy out that would have been much better i reckon super interesting this place so this is like the main beach i don't know if any of you guys are from israel and you can tell me what it actually gets like but from what i can see this with swell there'd be like all these fun little wedges everywhere but i don't know if it actually does get like that so these jetties are out to sea and they run parallel with the beach not perpendicular like normal as you can see here as the swell comes around around these groins it comes in and makes little wedges like that one on the shore like surely if the swell they would be like mental little wedges but i don't know please let me know in the comments if, if you know anything about it but yeah it's pretty sick where you surf you just look back up and you've got all of this going on if you're coming to the middle east and want to base yourself here i guess to go and explore like other non-surf related places you can definitely surf here like today if i was on a longboard or mal i would have been having a sick time so yeah if you had that and then just waited for the, the bigger days to get the smaller boards out i think yeah it'd be fine you'd actually be able to surf quite a lot so another point that i forgot to talk about and yeah i'm not an expert on this topic either but is the continental shelf so in the mediterranean there's no continental shelves in in other countries it's 
continental shelf is basically like where the land stays shallow until it goes out to sea if that makes sense so you've obviously got where the normal land ends and then underneath that the land mass continues like right out into the ocean normally in like good surfing places there's no continental shelf so like that's why islands are so good because the land just drops straight off into the sea and the swell comes straight onto the reef so hawaii canary islands australia new zealand that all those good surfing places they don't have much continental shelf because the swell can hit straight into the spot but um in england where i'm from the continental shelf is like hundreds of miles long so when the swells come in they're already slowing down like hundreds of miles before they reach the coast so if you had this sort of swell where it was like two feet at seven seconds in england there wouldn't be any waves anywhere um, whereas put that here in the med obviously it wasn't that good today but yeah two foot it was actually one to two foot whereas with continental shelf it wouldn't be you know it would be like half a foot that just wouldn't be waves um, so yeah I thought that was interesting so I guess if you're trying to do a strike mission in the Mediterranean it's something to consider even if the numbers don't look that significant I'm pretty sure the waves will be the size it says say they will be so like a three foot swell at 10 seconds it will be three foot um, they get a cheese burka and a butter croissant Awesome, thank you. Let's see what we got. So just a bit of info about Israel. It's not that cheap, but it's not crazy expensive. Like for example, that cost me about five or six British pounds. As far as like accommodation and transport goes, I'd say it's comparable to, I guess, countries in Europe and probably North America. Um, so yeah, it's definitely not like a budget place to come. Getting to Israel, super easy. You can find cheap flights from basically anywhere in Europe. I think it was a hundred pounds to come from London to Tel Aviv. Granted, it did all go a little bit wrong because of flight schedule changes. Um, so the first flight I had got changed, which meant I had to miss the next flight. But because Wizz Air only do direct flights, I, it, they weren't liable for me missing the second one, if that makes sense. So it meant I had to pay to change that, which was another 80 pounds. Had to put boards on each flight, which is another 60 pounds. So in the end, it cost me, yeah, like 350 pounds to get here. And then, yeah, another 80 pounds. I did find a really cheap flight returning. It was about 100 pounds all up. So in total, yeah, it cost me about 450 to 500 pounds to get here and back again, just for flights. So although it's super tempting to like book those budget airlines, once you add in boards and changes, it's sometimes just better to spend more and go with a better airline. I think I'm gonna start doing that a bit more. Um, just because it just saves you the hassle as well like with those airlines the whole process is like slow and annoying and you end up just spending more anyway so it's kind of pointless <laughs> so once I actually got to Israel it got to the immigration now the immigration is one of the strictest processes I've ever seen um, even gnarlier than America I know if you guys have been to America they ask you quite a lot of questions to visit there even on a tourist visa but here I've, I've never been asked so many questions and I mean like the border force aren't known for being polite anywhere in the world but this lady who questioned me or interrogated me <laughs> um, was yeah pretty rude and just asked me questions of everything she was like why are you coming here and then I was like oh I'm just just traveling just thought it'd be a cool place to come she's like why and I was like oh I like surfing it's like a different culture and she's like yeah but why is that why does that bring you here she then went on to ask me what I do for work, who pays me, how I got the job, who do I know here, do I have names of people I know here, where are you staying? Um, so it went on for like five, ten minutes, it was pretty gnarly. I didn't have anything to hide so it was alright in the end, I just said the truth. But yes, yeah, something to note if you are coming here, is it can be like a, a little bit intimidating, you know, especially if you're not used to traveling to, to places. This is the beachfront in Tel Aviv. Obviously there's a lot more to Israel than just Tel Aviv. I, I'm only here for a short trip. Um, but here 
is really modern, really clean. There's like people playing volleyball on the beach. There's like all these gyms set up. Um, I actually did a workout yesterday because the gym space on the beach looks so nice. Um, they've got like all pull-up bars and like, yeah, basically everything you need to do a pretty solid workout. So I'm feeling pretty sore this morning, especially after that little serve. Um, and yeah, it's kind of got everything. There's loads of restaurants, cafes along this front bit, some huge hotels. And yeah, it's re really nice, really clean. Kind of not really what I expected. I don't know what I expected, to be honest. It's kind of hard to think what you thought it was gonna be like after you've been there, you know? But yeah, it's definitely somewhere I'm gonna come back to. It's a pretty interesting place. It's um, so yeah, I'm gonna end this video here. I hope you guys have enjoyed following me around Tel Aviv. Obviously the waves didn't quite deliver this trip, but like I said, it's definitely somewhere I'm gonna come back to, gonna keep an eye on the chart because I wanna score some of these little wedges. And I think, yeah, I haven't seen its full potential. So if you've enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. It really does mean a lot to me. My next trip, I'm actually gonna be heading, we're gonna go and head to Iceland. So gonna be finding waves, seeing the sights, been planning this trip for a long, long time, and I can't wait to show you. So I'll see you in the Arctic.